motivation is not just money. The motivation yeah. is glory. Yeah. The motivation is accomplishing this impossible task and right. I mean, like, what is your motivation? Yeah, I think mine now is is just reaching my highest potential. I'm like, damn, how we're so close. We're number one right now. I want to be the champ, and I want to be, you know, I want to see how high, how far I can take this. I want to be recognized as one of the greatest ever too. And I don't want to just be recognized as a striker that knocks people out. I want to be, a, you know, I don't want to just Alex Pajeda is like known just for striking. Izzy was yeah. kind of just known for striking. I I feel like I've underrated jujitsu, underrated grappling, and you know I've been. You're training a lot, and I want to. I want to start choke. Like ideal scenario, I fight Aljo or Henry. I would love to fucking choke one of these dudes. Did you tap Gilbert Melendez in a tournament? No, I tapped. No, tap Gomi. Gomi. Oh, it was Gomi. Yeah, yeah. Takanori Gomi. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, Gilbert. I, I grappled Gilbert. We did oh, an eight minute right. round, or uh, it was nine, eight or nine minute round, and uh, that was a sick. That was a pretty sick match. That was on that UFC quintet. But uh, Gilbert, super underrated guy. People yeah. forgot about Gilbert. Yeah, but high level black belt, way bigger than me. I yeah. didn't, you know. Re- I don't think I took that that quintet very serious. I trained for that, like like it was a match. I think a lot mm. of the guys were just kind of going in there, fucking around. You know, it was like, so I, I don't know. But I trained for serious for that, and yeah, I went went nine or eight minutes, whatever it was, with Gilbert, and then uh. Choked Gomi, but yeah, I want to, I want to, ch- I want to start choking people. I love nice. knocking people out, but I would love to, if I have an opportunity, to choke someone. I, I, I would love to. Well, having a well-rounded game where you're a significant threat, both on your back and on the top, and not just standing up, is so important. Yeah, especially and some, in this division. Yeah, yeah, I, that division's just. There's so much going on in that division, man. It's so. Remember when Marlon Marais was the fucking scariest guy alive? He knocked out. I remember when he knocked out Aljo. I was there for that. I thought, I that, and then when Tony Ferguson got front kicked by Michael Chandler, I watched. I was like, I just witnessed them the first murder in the UFC. Bro, they laid there for so long. Morais had this switch kick off the left leg that yeah. was a thing of fucking beauty. Yeah, it's one of the best switch kicks I've ever seen. It's so like. Right up there with Barboza, mm. but Barboza would switch kick to the body, and you'd be like, Jesus Christ. The whip. When Barboza was in his prime, earliest, like before all the wars, and bro, his switch kick was insane. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah, this fight was, I mean, I think he went to throw that same yeah, switch so kick Aljo and Yeah, so took him. him down, and then here. Yep, went to throw it and need him. Boom. Boom. Dude, that left his left high kick was fucking insane. Whew. Look at that. Look at that left high kick. Yeah, that was beautiful. Oh my god. It's so fast too. Yeah. And when he was chopping at Henry in that first round, I was <sighs> like, oh my god, Henry's fucked. That's what I thought. I'm like, he's fucked, but Marais just fell apart. And Henry just put the gas on him. Comp- Henry knows how to win. He, he knows just how knows to how to fucking win. He he's knows a competitor how to win. at the highest level. Yeah, and it's um, it's really strange to watch like how a couple of fights can change the tra- trajectory of a fighter's career, yeah. and and limit like how durable they are. Yeah, and like what happens when things go sideways with them. Yeah, that mentally probably fucked him. Right? Like he was dominating and then just yeah. completely gassed out. Yeah, in the biggest fight of his life, like he was almost the world champion. Was that for a? That was for the. That was for the belt. Who was, was Henry wasn't champ, was he? Was he at the time? No one was champ. Wasn't right? it for the wasn't it for the um It was for the belt. But for I don't Henry's think, belt? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm I feel like it was pretty sure it was for the belt. Or was it It was a title elim- fight. It was a title fight. Right. So but it was an elimination fight or was it an interim fight? Maybe it was interim? Oh maybe. Was this before or after um Mighty Mouse left? It's after Mighty Mouse left, right? Well this was at Mighty Mouse twenty five, this was at thirty five. Oh, that's right. But that's I right. think it was after TJ, or no. When he fought Marais right there, June 2019, won the vacant UFC Bantamweight Championship. So it was vacant. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah, because TJ must have got busted. In the, that's right. Because Henry went down to 25. That's or no, right. TJ went down to 25 to fight Henry. Well, that was just madness. That was so stupid. But it's weird because so TJ... Doesn't look. He's not a big thirty fiver. He didn't look. Bro, but he looked dead. Yeah, I know. He looked, looked so bad. Like but, he couldn't take shots. No. Like, that was, when you're taking EPO just to try to not be anemic, you know, like he was. He was literally letting his body eat itself. I would have liked to see TJ versus Henry at one thirty five. That would have been a very interesting, way different fight. I still think you know Henry could have done the same. Could could win that fight, but it would have been way more interesting. 
Well, I hope they can do something with TJ's shoulders. It would be a shame if that's what ends it for him. God, he's already, I know? mean, he's what, 36? You know, how old is yeah. he, Jamie? 36, 37? Yeah, that was him cut, when he was cutting down to flyweight. Just crazy, man. Just crazy. It was, pr- yeah. That he's, was all, he's, he's dying. The thing about that is we want to pretend that that doesn't take something out of you. <sighs> But it, it does. fucking does. Do you need tissues, brother? No, I'm. I'm, st- I'm I don't even think it's just Sorry. stuff. Thirty six, also. <laughs> He's thirty. TJ's thirty six. Maybe thirty seven. He's thirty seven. Appreciate it. Um, I want you sitting around with boogers. Just, uh, <laughs> I hate that. Mocos. It's so hard to concentrate. He's thirty seven. He'll be thirty seven in two months. Yeah. He's got tremendous skills. I mean, TJ when. Um, he uh, won the title from Henning Burrell. I remember Ooh. watching that performance. I'm like, God damn, TJ. 